Aloe vera is a well-known and commonly consumed herb that has medicinal and nutritional benefits. It is not only beneficial to the body's fitness, but it is also beneficial to the skin and hair. It has gained widespread recognition around the world as a result of its many health benefits and relative ease of cultivation. Since aloe plants grow easily and rapidly, they can be used in kitchen gardens and indoor potted plant gardens of many homes. It takes very little maintenance, and the gel from the leaves, which is the main edible component, can be quickly extracted and used in a variety of ways. Many people only use aloe vera and its extracts to enhance their skin and hair appearance. This juice is readily available in supermarkets and on the internet. Aloe vera, on the other hand, is said to be at the most nutritious when eaten raw and unprocessed. This is why it is commonly cultivated at home and used in foods and beverages. It has a moderate herbaceous flavor and an almost neutral flavor, making it a good ingredient to use in your diet. Aloe vera is an evergreen plant from the species of the genus aloe which is also known as the happy plant that comes with numerous medicinal and health benefits. An evergreen perennial, it originates from the Arabian Peninsula but grows wild in tropical, semi-tropical, and arid climates around the world. Furthermore, aloe vera is an Ayurvedic medicine that helps to heal disorders such as breast cancer, high blood sugar, and heartburn. It's a medication, according to Ayurveda, and drinking this nutritious elixir in juice form has a slew of other health advantages. The research reports published in Evidence-Based Complementary and Alternative Medicine studied the therapeutic properties of aloemidin, a compound in the plant's leaves. The authors suggest that the succulent shows potential in slowing the growth of breast cancer. A team of Nigerian scientists conducted a study on rats and found that gel made from typical aloe vera houseplants was able to relieve constipation. But another study by the National Institutes of Health looked at the consumption of aloe vera whole leaf extract. Those findings revealed tumor growth in the large intestines of laboratory rats. Consuming aloe vera juice can benefit your digestive tract and help to soothe and cure stomach ailments, including irritable bowel syndromes. Research suggests that aloe vera is capable of lowering your blood sugar level. Ingesting two tablespoons of aloe vera juice per day can cause blood sugar levels to fall in people with type 2 diabetes. This could mean that aloe vera may have a future in diabetes treatment. These results were confirmed by the research published in Phytotherapy Research that used pulp extract. Juicing aloe vera is the most convenient way to eat it. Scoop the gel out of your aloe leaf by cutting it into tiny pieces and removing the upper bright green coating. Remove the thin yellowish latex coating that exists between the leaf and the gel. Wash the gel and mix it with coconut water or plain water and a little honey for sweetness in a food processor. You should blend in your favorite drinks, such as apple or cucumber juice. Aloe vera leaves, in addition to the gel, are commonly thought healthy to consume. Toss new aloe vera leaves with your summer salads after washing and chopping them. Salads may benefit from the crunchiness of aloe leaves. Salad dressings may have aloe vera gel. It can easily be combined with ingredients like olive oil and vinegar due to its slimy appearance. Aloe vera can be used to produce a healthy salad dressing. Aloe vera is a plant that is used to treat wounds. For instant relief, dump the diluted gel into an ice cube tray, freeze it, and then apply it to the affected region. Smoothies can also be made from these cubes. When making fruit smoothies, just apply a couple of these aloe gel cubes to your blender and mix. When cooking aloe vera for use at home, be sure to eliminate all of the latex, since this is the only component of the plant that can cause side effects. Aloe vera should not be consumed on a regular basis, and you should consult a dietitian or nutritionist before using it in your diet.